hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video as you know that we have completed our player controller and we also add colliders to our environment now from this video onwards we will start adding the parkour system inside our game so as you know that we have added box colliders to these tables as you can see and these tables and for example these boxes have different types of height okay and we will be adding colliders to this store shell as well so let me just do that as well just simply search for store and it will give you all of the store shells then click on add component and then add the box collider as you can see it has been added so now we have these tables these little boxes and these store shells so in order to perform parkour on all of these tables or you can actually say all of these obstacles for this purpose we need a environment checker so what that environment checker will do let me show it right here to you so from the player feet position okay you can notice the player feet right here from here we will create a ray cast and if you don't know what a ray cast is you can go ahead and open up the unity documents and there you can search for the ray cast or physics dot ray cast and right here you will find every detail about the ray cast and in simple words ray cast is just an invisible ray and that ray has parameters you can see the parameters right here okay the origin direction the maximum distance layer mask the query trigger interaction okay and here are some other parameters as well and in this way we can use all of these parameters if you notice it right here okay so now let me tell you how we will create our environment checker so as I told you from the player feet we will create a ray cast and for example if that ray cast hit this table then what it will do it will basically measure the height of this table and then according to that height our player will perform the parkour okay and then for example if the player get closer to this box okay then we will measure this box height and then it will perform different type of parkour on this box for example a uh, step up parkour and if the player come closer to the stall then it will just simply measure the stall height and according to the stall height it will perform the different type of parkour as you saw in the introductory video when we try to perform a uh, parkour on stall the player plays the climb up animation so now in short form our environment checker will first detect that what type of object is in front of the player and then it will measure the height of that object and then according to that height the player will perform a parkour so if you click on our scripts folder right here let's create a new folder by the name of parkour and then in here we will create a c sharp script by the name of environment checker or you can name this whatever you want press enter now if we double click on it and right here let me click on open here it is let's remove the start and update function and guys as I told you that the raycast has many parameters and if you notice right here we can use these parameters okay like this so we will be using the origin parameters in our raycast and then the direction parameter okay and then the max distance okay we will use this parameter as well and there is 
one more which is uh, out and right here as you can see out hit what we do in this out hit is that we store information about whatever this raycast hit so for example if the raycast hits this table okay then we can store information about this particular obstacle okay for example we can store its name its position and different things okay so in this out we store the information and then also we will be using this layer mask as well because as you know that in our environment on each of this obstacles okay in our environment we will be adding a layer by the name of obstacle okay which we created in our previous videos and also we added that layer to our ground as well okay so we will be adding this layer to this obstacles as well and actually let me just add this layer right now so if we search for store shells okay these are all of the store shells let's select the obstacle layer that is it also let's go ahead and add this layer to our other obstacles as well on which we want to perform the parkour for example this wood construction so if we search for wood okay we can also select the wood barrels and wood boxes and then this all wood construction so add a layer obstacle to all of them that is it so now we have set up everything for our environment checker now let's end this video right here and in the next video we will start working on our environment checker script